the whole map has been investigated. We were here at Ruined Watchtower and now it is time to visit our barony again. I don't think we left anything in... Oh, we did. Aha, and what is going on? Baron is out of reach. No, we want to see exactly what has been going on here. Great taxes. A problem. Should be attended before first of Erastus. Uh, which one? Which one? Let's see. Some half elf trading fabric in the capital discovered a loophole in the law which made it possible to avoid paying most taxes. The news spread quickly through the merchant's quilt. Measures should be taken immediately or the treasury will take a loss. Jubilus aims to cut expenses and spend diligently and he's sure to let everyone know it too. I think it's Jubilus job. He is our treasurer. Now let's see if there is something that we can actually do here before we rest. I believe... Problem. The barony managed to preserve and enjoys peace once again. Uh, why are you still here? I don't know. I absolutely do not know why that is still there, but... Just as well. Regents, advisors. There are no advisors we can point to. Pawn rabbits. Let's see, is there something that we can do here? There are still places. Do we have building points? We have 32 building points. Let's see. Longhouse, tavern, barracks, longhouse, tokens, alchemical shop, a lumber yard could be something. Or just piers. A fixed lumber yard. So we will be creating both of them. Economy plus one, community plus one, economy plus one. Both of these are good. Let's build Lumberyard. Is that the best place for it? Is there something... Yeah. Let's create the Lumberyard. We need to buy more building points. We can't deal with any other persons right now. But that is good. Actually, it is excellent. May we have a moment of respite? Yes, my friends, you may. But before we do that, we have something else to do. More precisely, few level ups. So, Amiri. With this level, level 6, you would get great power, which would be good, and danger sense, which would also be good. But I believe that this is the time when we give you that tuck level up. If we give this tuck level up to her, she can be frightening. She can taunt enemies and make them actually flee, and she indeed mentions that this is something that she likes to do. She likes to be frightening. So we will take that ability. And we might actually take yet another rogue level as well, because on that level she would get rogue talent, which would of course be frightening appearance, so that she could use her strength instead of charisma modifier and evasion. I haven't decided that yet, but I'm pretty sure that that is the route we are going to take, and then we will just keep everything else into Barbarian. Okay? Right. And now we can also increase her skills a bit more. Uh, 
Wait, that is not the brilliant plan. That is a pr brilliant plan. If we <laughs> want her to be scared, then perhaps we should be indeed increasing her persuasion. I also want to increase her perception, but we will have extra points next level if we take that rogue level, which we will likely do, okay? I think that was a useful one. This fellow will be alchemist, he gets discovery. At second level and then again every two levels tear further up to 18th level, an alchemist makes an incredible alchemical discovery. Unless otherwise noted, an alchemist cannot select an individual discovery more than once. Some discoveries can only be made if the alchemist has met certain heuristics first, such as uncovering other discoveries. Right, I read that because I believe we haven't visited alchemist skills that much. Because eh, he is a new fellow. Oh, this is going to take a while. If this is something that I actually want to use. Joking point, because they become no say that, and that means that enemies are suffering from penalties. Uh, that would be useful as well. Let's take Joking Bomb. It's not he lacks those. Oh, oh hello. Trigger is dealt. Do we need this? Knowledge World. You need that perception. Use Magic Device. And, well, okay. Dealt and Trigger it. Not that you, you use them much, but why not? Take those and then the spell. The spell. The invisibility, that would be a good one for him. But that's not communal. Let's take restoration lesser. That is never wrong. False life could be great as well, or delay poison, but Tristan has those. Blur could be very good for him. But I think this is this is on spot. Alright. Right. That that can never go wrong. Inquisitor gets teamwork feet. Shake it off is what we have given him a uh, her before. Oh, we should really take her out more often, you know. And persuasion, uh, acknowledge Arcana. Let's go with this one. Coordinated defense, combat maneuver defense. This could be very good. Coordinate maneuvers could be brilliant. Uh, outflank. And it will be outflank. Nope, there really is no competition for that, seeing that. We have two rogues in the party. We go with that. Harim! You are a cleric and you will remain as a cleric. Religion, perception, you really don't need anything else. And then we still have Ragongar. Magus who gets Magus Arcana and Persuasion, use magic device and oh he already have that mobility so let's give him athletics. He doesn't want to know, he doesn't need to know. Previously arcane accuracy, one point from his arcane pool as with action so... Enemies are denied their dexterity bonus against the Magus attacks until the end of the Magus next turn. Yeah, that's probably not even a question. Wind Wielder could be great as well. We will see about that. Yeah. This is a. Well, this is a touch spell. 
Your melee attack deals 46 points of gold damage and causes the target to be staggered for one round. This guy actually draws spells through his sword. If this is working how I believe it is working, then that would be really good. And I believe that was everyone. Yes, indeed, that was everyone. Let's just check spells and then we will move on. We should gather our strength. And then, of course, there's one more thing to do, and that is loot. Loot, great sword, hand axe. There it is, Roll Reaper. You will take that without another question. Indeed. Uh, was there something specific I wanted to give you? Oh no, this is what I wanted to give you. Way with that. And that instead. And the full plate was. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. That is all you. And you, my dear. Rest plate plus two. Yep. Worth it. And I believe that is everything we had to do. Ah, not yet. Pointless. Pointless both of these. Nothing else to do. And let's visit the storyteller as well. I brought some relics. Are any worthy of a story? How interesting. May I, your grace? Oh, the symbol of Thorak. The children of stone wear such pendants as protected talismans. I will gladly purchase any you have. Well, thank you. And what is this? I hear the voices of trees smell the scent of fresh leaves. A triad's mark, is it not? I would ha be happy to purchase it from you. Oh, now here is something truly impressive. These items once belonged to Dwarven Smith, and they wish to tell us their story. But too much has been lost. Too much forgotten. The story of this myth eludes me. Please, find the rest of the five missing items and return them to me as soon as you can. Returning from campaign, you, Octavia and Regongar enter the tavern to relax. And that idiot hit the lockpicks in the most clever way he could think of. On a wall, under some barbed wire, charmed with a lightning spell. So, I've wrapped my pants around my head to avoid getting fried. I've got nothing else. I climb up on the barrel and start groping along the top of the wall, praying to Calistria that the guards don't show up. Imagine how that would look. Pants off, perched up on a barrel. Yeah, that is an interesting thought, and a very interesting image you put in my head. <laughs> oh, Reg, it's so funny when you tell it, but we almost got killed that time. Yeah. But we didn't. We survived. <laughs> we got out of there, so why not laugh now, huh? <laughs> exactly. You're so sweet. You are both sweet. Oh, Octavia hugs both of you. You feel her hand slowly crawling from your shoulder down to your chest. Okay. This is a hard one. Hold Octavia in return, putting your hand on her breast. No, people are looking. Oh. For crying out loud. So, let them watch. Octavia moves closer to you and her hand slides down onto your thigh. <laughs> mm, it's getting hot in here. I think you'd better get a room. What about you, Reg? Let's all go together. Okay. No, no, you birdies have fun without me. 
I have a date with a barrel of beer today and it's just getting started. Are you sure? I might, I might, you know, need a lifesaver here. As you wish. Okay. <laughs> have fun. We will. And if I'm not back at the morning, please pick me up. Be a good man. Right, Dragongar, my pal. Okay. Kiss Octavia, I love you too. Now you're mine forever. No, that will drive her away. How about another go around now? I guess that is probably the most neutral option. But I only got dressed. Now you'll have to help me take it all off again. Not a bad option. All according to plan. Not. Wait, what is that? Okay, excuse me, Octavia, but I got interrupted by something. Meaning loot. Yes, it was nice, very nice, you know, matters of state and everything like that. I'm still in one piece. I believe I am. She didn't scorch my pants or something. Right. I actually wanted to go and sell some stuff, but hey, that happened. I'm not complaining. Now let's just inspect matters of our kingdom before we go. Corn Rapids, we needed to build something there and that was Pierce, I believe. Okay, and that would cost us some EP. Okay, how much do I need? 18 Yep I failed No, I did not fail. I forgot that this is a painful thing. And I believe I also should have something with some PP with me. I do have money Let's take 30, 30 PP with us. Let's do that. The big question is where to next? Cobalt Trail. A remote place known for numerous Cobalt Trails, there's a chance that trolls have decided to use the scale little creatures, bats, and tracks leading to a troll lair have been found in the hills. We should gather our strength. We will rest right on top of this place. Ekin, can you smile at all? Try it. It's easy. I can smile. I just don't see a reason. So that was just an information that Pokken's alchemy shop is now ready. He will serve us well, I believe. The hills seemed pleasant, even welcoming. No grey doom and gloom. Just walking along the path and enjoying the view of all the cute little white pyramids built out of pebble stone. Or wait, was it pebble stone? 
Horror of horrors, what I mistook for pebbles were polished bones. All along the path, the grass was riddled with pyramids made of polished cobalt remains. It got us to thinking, is it wise to follow such a green path, the way marked by death itself? This is Lindsay talking. Defying all danger, we followed the path. Failed. Brilliant. I don't know how long, but we lost the trail and began wandering aimlessly. I blamed those cryptic pyramids. I think they dampened our spirits. It took a few hours for us to find the path again and make it to the mountain we were crossing. Well, bridge may be a bit generous. It was actually just a long branch, about as thick as an arm, spanning from one bank to the other. It may have been enough for a cobalt to cross, since we could see another of those small bone pyramids on the far side, but it didn't look nearly strong enough for our party to cross. Before deciding how to proceed, we carefully examined the river. We quickly discovered that the river was quite deep. I plunged my arm shoulder deep into the water and couldn't even feel the bed. It was fast too. The current pulled a dried leaf off my sleeve and it was gone from my sight in a blink and it was cold very very cold frankly none of us were interested in taking a swim we carefully examined the branch that would help us cross the river the branch sticks have one thing going for it so being so thick it happened to be quite sturdy but that didn't make a flimsy crossing any less slippery or challenging to anyone daring to set foot on it I wonder how many cobbles have slipped on the wet park and found a watery grave in the ice cold river. Precautions were definitely in order. We readied a rope to ensure the daredevil's safety. Foresight has always been among our esteemed parents' strongest virtues. Thank you. With the practiced motions and seasoned of a seasoned adventurer, he pulled a length of rope out of his pack and prepared it to be tied around the waist of whoever would prove brave enough to step on the branch and attempt to cross the river. That would at least help reduce the risk of drowning. Choose character, and I believe that is me. Me, myself and I. Savir was unperturbed by the thin branch and the speed current. After the deep breath, our volunteers had fought along the precarious crossing, one step, then another. A few feet crossed with no trouble, and I started to think that maybe things could, would go fine. That's when the branch jerked and st what started to shake. It was rolling over with no time to think. All Savir could do was mobility 15, jump to the other side, and he succeeded gracefully. Oh, the lanes will go into our efforts to keep our pride untarnished and our pants dry. One incredible jump and Savir was on the other bank. Savir took a moment to catch his breath and turned his attention back to the crossing. As soon as the rope was securely fixed on both banks, the branch didn't seem as much as a death trap as it had before. One small pyramid made of polished cobalt bones may be a bit spooky, but it's not unbearable. But how about thousands? We found ourselves looking over a proper cobalt graveyard, each little pyramid a mark of a cobalt's death, and that mark made out of their own remains. Yeesh! The real enigma, though, waited in the heart of the burial ground. The centipede was made by the hundreds, maybe even thousands of polished bones, all put together to form the head of an enormous dragon. Imagine it! These small, nonsensical reptiles somehow managed to create a sculpture both fearsome and magnificent. Such might, and yet such frailty as well. If a single bone were to be removed from the foundation, this beautiful statue would crumble to dust. And I even spotted one such flimsy bone. Regardless, we'd come face to face with irrefutable proof. The cobalt, for better or worse, were changing. This news had no impact on our search for the trolls, though. The land was clearly sacred to the kobolds, and it seemed unlikely that they would bring their new friends here. But how would the Baron deal with the structure we found in this realm? 
the Baron deemed it proper to respect the Cobalt Shrine. Following my advice, the Baron adjusted the dangerous loose bone in the hope of reinforcing the remarkable composition. His grace was standing to leave when a glint from Kraken's jaw drew his attention. Carefully reaching inside, the Baron pulled out what seemed to be a dirty stone. Beneath an outer layer of clay, we found a large cut emerald. It seemed the cobalt spirits decided to grant us a gift. Stowing the offering in his back, the Baron turned and left. We dutifully followed our leader, and soon the bizarre cobalt burial ground was far behind us. Cobalt camp. Okay, that's, that's just too interesting. You see a gang of kobolds resting around a campfire. When they finally notice you, they jump up and start scuttling around, making a mess of bumping into each other, all the while muttering something in their hissing language. One kobold emerges from swarming crowd. His scales are a touch lighter than those of his companions. Upon closer inspection, he seems to be extremely old. Whoa, there's a thunder here. His skin is dry and lifeless. Oh, come on! And he clearly lost some of his skills long ago. There's something curious about this kobold. He seems to be calm, confident and wise. Yep, it's really wise to stand here in this weather. Slashash. Greetings. He says, addressing you and sticking out his hand. Greetings. Yep. Aw, oh, say so cute! Octavia exclaims, clasping her hands together. May I give one? Hey, give one! I don't care. Shake the cobalt's hand. Greetings? You shake the old cobalt's hand. It's slimy and cold. He continues to stare, his eyes still yellow and emotionless. Cobalt human the old cobalt says. You guys are crazy standing out here in this weather. Laugh, laugh. Ooh. Ah, it seems he's in love with you. Uh, in the way that you are. No. Tartuk King shirts. Yep, Tartuccio. Got it. Okay. Kartuk, what a familiar name. Tell me, do you know the story of the Shushkel Cobalt tribe? Shushkel? Bad. Not friend. Alright, let's get this sorted out. All the Cobalts are staring at you now. No blinking or movement among them. It's starting to get uncomfortable. You don't say? Kartuk. Rolschla. Yes, Tartuk. Cobalt. Bear that wisdom check. No matter how hard you try, you can't clean anything useful from the old cobalt's gibberish. Seeing you fail to understand the old cobalt, Octavia touches your shoulder to attract your attention. I think I understand what they're trying to say. It seems their king, Tartuk, is lost somewhere and they are looking for him. But it sounds like he's become friends with trolls now, so I, I'm not sure it would be wise to help them. Uh, why are you looking for Tartuk? King! Tartuk Trolls! Cobalt Neutral cute. I'm not friends to tr trolls. I kill them and anyone who helps them. You should return from where you came for your own sake. I took king love. Human scuppled love. He speaks quickly, raising his hand before him as though shielding himself from attack. We are not going to attack you. Okay. That didn't help. 
Chaotic good. Point in a random direction. Yes, I saw it that way. Unable to judge the expression on his snout, you can't tell if the old cobalt believed you. After you answer, he turns away from you as if you cease to exist. Cobalt quickly catters and leave into the wood. Warren Ruins versus Pro Clearing. Let's move toward the clearing. I'm up. Oh! Time to search for the spot to rest. <sighs> no, it's time to get back to our kingdom. Sorry, Barony. Sorry, kingdom. Whatever they <laughs> they need us now. 